A young man that they say could not be nothing, couldn't do nothing. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. We need to understand that we are a part of something bigger than who we are. It's amazing what God can do. The church should be one foundation. Welcome to a life-changing experience with Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Evangelist Jerry Thompson has a sincere compassion and love for winning souls. The need to go back and reach others has become a passion for Jerry Thompson. He illustrates his gratefulness towards God through the gift of writing and singing that the Lord has blessed him with. May you enjoy the music ministry of Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Because he lives, all my fear is gone. Because I know he holds my future. Life is worth the living. Because he lives. is yours truly Reverend Jerry Thompson. Remember, Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is a ministry where a nobody becomes a somebody. And there's a somebody in you today. Praise God. Now, I'd like to just welcome you back to part two of Why Worry. You know, so many of us are worrying every day about different things. We're worrying about car payments. We're worrying about whether our phone's going to get cut off, how the children are going to get lunch money, um, how we're going to buy uniforms for the kids to go back to school. And it goes on and on and on, you know, the job and all the rest of it. Why worry? I'm going to take you back on a journey now uh, of Satan's path, of a long, a long list of lies and more lies. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy as the program proceeds. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat and drink nor about your body, what you will put on it. Is not life more than food and clothes? Consider, do you have a storehouse in your barn? Yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. The birds does not have a storehouse, but God feeds them. They fly right now. I could hear them. I could hear them if you really listen, you can hear them. Think on these things. Listen to those birds. Can you hear those birds? And if you look around, we'll probably see them flying by. My God, your life must be better than that. It says here, are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubic to his or her life one cubic can you add flesh to someone's body can you add life to someone's body one cubic can you give them an extra day can you create a simple thing as the the soil that you stand on so how then and why then do you worry if God can create all these things and made you why then do you worry? Is God not more powerful than what you worry about? So why do you want to go and see the shrink or the doctor to try to fix you because you worry? See the doctor. And if you truly want to see the doctor, who is the doctor of all doctors, go back to the man who made you. Go back to the one who created you. 
Because who better to know how to fix you than the person who made you? And put your trust in him and don't worry because he will give you happiness. Praise God. Listen to this now. Which of you by worrying can add one cubic to his or her stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, and they neither toil nor spend. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, Will he not much more clothe you or your little faith? Have some faith. Have some faith. Have a little bit of faith in the one you love. Have a little bit of faith in the one you love. He made the night so warm. And the days are never lonely. Have a little faith in the one you love. Come on, have some faith in the one you love. Now listen to me. Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For all these things, the Gentiles did seek. The Gentiles did seek it. Remember that. You are not a Gentile, or are you? That is the question that only you can answer. Listen to me now. We will take a short pause here, a short pause. Think on these things. Are you a Gentile, or are you not? I'm not a preacher man that's coming with you, throwing the Bible at you, looking down at you. I am you, my brother. But with a difference, I made a choice. And the choice that I chose was Jesus Christ. That was the only difference. I chose Jesus Christ. Choose ye to whom he served. A man cannot serve two masters. The word Gentile does not necessarily mean people who are non-Jewish. According to the strong encyclopedia, the word Gentile also is used to describe heathens and pagans. In other words, people who do not know or worship one true God. Do you worship God today, the one true God? Do you worship Him? A question you alone can answer. Listen to me now. In Matthew, we continue. For your heavenly Father knows what you need. All these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things will be added unto you. All other things. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep on going because that is the message right there. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all other things will be added unto you. That means the devil will be thrown away. He'll be taken out of your way. You will now get prosperity. You'll no longer have to borrow. You'll no longer have to worry because God will supply all your needs. He promised me and he has kept his promise with me, to me. And I know that if he can do that for me, I know he can do it for you, church sisters, church brothers, men and women of God, because we're all human beings and God made us all. We're all his creation. So we are all men and women of God. So come, come into him, come to him now. Call that number on that screen. Make a plea, make a covenant with God, the way in which he made a covenant with you. Covenant for David. Made a covenant with the word of God because he said before his word should go void, heaven and earth will pass away. Listen to me. Here in these verses, we see that Jesus is telling us not to worry about anything. He wants us to trust him, trust in God after the things of God. And he will provide the solutions and take care of you. The things that we are worrying about, in other words, he is telling us that we should live one day at a time. 
One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that is all I'm asking of you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Oh, yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today, show me the way, one day at a time, one day at a time. That's all God is asking of you. That's all he's asking of you. It is not, it is not a very easy task to rid ourselves of the tendencies to worry, especially if we have developed this negative habit over a lifetime. I know it's not easy. It's not easy. I know that. It wasn't easy for me to put my gun down. It wasn't easy for me to stop prostitution and pimping. It was not easy for when all these women came upon me for me to say no. It's not. When the doors are closed and you're alone between that rock and a hard place, it's not easy. But God said, don't give up. Have a little bit of faith. Hold on because he has never caused the righteous to be forsaken. He will never forsake you nor leave you. He's with you. I know you're saying to yourself, but God, you know, I, the reason why I haven't really changed is because all this time, I, I know I'm gonna keep doing it again. You're lacking faith, my brother. You're lacking faith, my sister. If you keep saying that, you will never change. If I kept saying that, I would not be here today spreading the good news and taking this word of God to you to change your life. No, I'm not perfect. And if you're looking for a perfect man, turn this channel right now. But I know something. I'm not what I used to be. I may not be what God wants me to be, but I'm not what I used to be. I'm coming up from the rough side, and I'm doing my best to make it in. So come on to Jesus. Jesus loves you. Come on today. Jesus wants you to be a part of his kingdom. He wants, he said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. I can only live in one house. Come on, come on home. God loves you. He, 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 he wants to see you saved. He wants to sup with you. He, want, he says, come sit, reason with me. Come and reason with him. I'm reasoning with you now on his behalf. I'm not worthy, but he favored me. God gave me favor. He took away the badness and he gave me goodness. He took away, he took away pain and gave me joy. He took away sorrow and gave me gladness. He took away, he took away, and he gave me salvation. What more can I say? I'm happy. And I want you to get some. Can I hear an amen out there? Can I hear it a little louder? I'm feeling it in Jesus' name. I know. Thank God for Jesus. It is so good. I, I feel good. I'm feeling you in Jesus' name. I'm just going to give you a few little things, uh, pointers here. Here are 10 principles which I believe that if we uh, practice them, we will be able to live worry-free. The Ten Commandments, useful living. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, Matthew 22 and 37. And the second one is love your neighbor as yourself, Matthew 29, 32. Third one, do not judge others, Luke 6 and 37. Give to others and you will receive from God. And the fourth, forgive others and God will forgive you. Five, love your enemies. Six, do good to them that hate you. Seven, bless those who curse you. Eight, forget the past problems, move towards the future. And number nine, thank God for your victory. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 57. Father God, we thank you for your word, O oh Lord God. And for all of those viewers who are out there, Lord God, may they call into this telecast to say, yes, Brother Thompson, we've received your word today. And we love you. We love this ministry. We love what God is doing in your life. And we want to be a part of that. Call that number on the screen. Email me and tell me what you felt, how this ministry has been a blessing to you. May God bless you. And thank you for tuning in to Vision of Truth. And remember, without a vision, the people perish. Don't worry. God bless you. Thank you for watching Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. We'll be right back. Vision of Truth is graciously funded through the purchase of CDs and DVDs through those buying and selling a home or business, 
through individuals who require a bridge loan, or by simply booking Jerry Thompson for your next special event. Visit us at visionoftruth.com or call us at 647-692-7793. Many of us are worried by so many different things in the world today, and worrying never helps to add an hour to the day, never helps to do any good thing. Worry takes away your health. It's bad for so many things. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is so wonderful to see that we're still serving the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Please support this ministry right now by calling this number on the screen and ordering your CD by Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Please call now and support this ministry and help us get guns off the street. That's it. Oh. This song that I'm about to share with you and sing for you is entitled, When He Was on the Cross, You and Praise God. He brought that painting to his master, and he says, here, you want a happy painting? Here. And the painting was very, very aggressive. And he went to the door because he knew his master would be so angry with him. And he stood at the door waiting for the master to actually throw something at him. And he realized the master still was there standing looking at the painting. Master said, this is a happy painting. Because in that painting, when all the aggression and all the wars of what he saw out there, he painted it under the cave, and under the cave there was a tree, and under the tree, where the tree was hanging out, there was a branch, and under that, on that branch was a little bird sitting down, waiting for the storm to be over. All I can say to you is don't worry, because Jesus will keep you the same way he kept that bird. May God bless you, and remember, don't worry. This song is entitled, Without Him, My Life Would Be Nothing. Without him, my life would be nothing. Said without him, how lost I would be. Said without him, I know I'd be drifting. Like a ship without a sea. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I trust that this telecast has been a blessing to you. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. Because without you, we can't have a ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd also like you to know that the music that you've heard playing in the background entitled One Day at a Time, and uh, For Those Tears I Die, and Why Me Lord is available on CD and DVD. You can also call us at 647-692-7793. We need your support. Without your support, this ministry will cease to exist. So call that number on the screen right now. Uh, 647-692-7793 or simply log on to visionoftruth.com and place your orders of CDs, DVDs. Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is here for you, to you and because of you. We thank you for your support and if you'd like to have me in your community to come to do crime and drug prevention, work, workshops, motivational seminar, empowerment seminar, also to preach the Word of God. I'm also available as a chaplain to visit in prisons, schools, hospitals, wherever it is, wherever the pain is, that's where I want to be. May God bless you. Until next time. Call that number on that screen, 647-692-7793. That's 647-692-7793. Please give us a call. Support this ministry. Not for the purpose of offering and building big churches and big buildings. No, 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 don't do that. When you 
donate your money or sponsor this telecast. It's costing thousands of dollars every month to pay for this airing on the TV. When you pay your money, it's to bring you messages like this. So send in your donation so we can keep this message alive. Buy the CD, buy this program, uh, upload it, and get it to somebody who you know it can help and make a difference. Call online for the testimony. Just log on to visionoftruth.com for the testimony why I put the gun down. Also, there are many songs that are anointed. Every last one of my CDs are anointed. God promised me that whenever they are played, lives will be transformed. Get them. Go online to uh, visionoftruthtv.com where you can watch many programs. That's Jerry Thompson TV station online. So when we're off air, you can continue. And also you can uh, download our CDs on iTunes. Just go on to iTunes and go on to Jerry Thompson or simply uh, Jerry Thompson and uh, .com and you can get them. All right. We love you. Sometimes in life it may seem that you are alone, but you're not alone. God is with you. Vision of Truth Outreach Ministries, where a nobody can become a somebody. Why? Because I was you, but with a difference. I got involved in drugs and crime and on my way to take a man's life. But I'm one of the stories that turned out good. And I got many stories like mine to bring to you each and every week from around the world. Remember, man's reject is God's project. And who God hires, no man fire. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do.